हेलो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर एमडीई ट्यूटोरियल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट एंड टुडेज वीडियो विल वॉक थ्रू अबाउट द रिपोर्टिंग देर आर द मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग एग्जिस्ट फॉर दिस डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट सो विल वॉक थ्रू ऑल दिस रिपोर्टिंग पॉइंट एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद दिस वीडियो so now i am i logged in microsoft 365 defender console and here it says reports so let's click on the reports and here we have the many types of report which is like related to journal and uh, the endpoints which we are going to walk through mostly this portion email and collaboration and this is for the cloud application so we have all these reports are available in our uh, defender console let's go for the security reports what type of report will get under the security reports okay so now here uh, under the identity so zero uh, users are at the risk uh, three global admins available uh, data if we talk about the data sharepoint onedrive exchange teams so this will show you the uh, your the dlp policies this also the dlp policies false and positive overwrite the positive overwrite and here are the related asr rule or uh, detection so 30 uh, 63 detection blocked in last four weeks we can get the detail as well if you want to see the details so you can click here view the detection report it will uh, enter to the attack surface rule detection so here are the what uh, all these things are blocked uh, by this asr rule and if you want to see this uh, this is the getting blocked and uh, the process name is the task host w.exe so all these things are uh, getting blocked by the asr rule here is a configurations and uh, what are the configurations we did it uh, i showed you in the my the last videos when i was talking about a asr rule now here is a uh, add exclusions so um if uh all these things were um, part of this exclusions if you need that report now let me go back and uh we'll walk through the other types of report so under here on this section where we are yeah yes here so this is related to the asr rule again this is the asr configuration if you want to deep dive for that you can click view the configuration or add to the exclusions so you can do that directly from here and here is 117 threads required the actions so here are the uh, some some actions are pending uh, for this thread if you would like to review that you can go on this button see more you will get the more details now here is a 33% are non compliant so i have in my infra three devices and out of three two devices are compliant and one is a non compliant so this will give you the uh, compliance report in terms of the defender not for the intune so just make it remember that so malware remediation so one uh, malware was remediated last four weeks so you can get the details over here now types of the malware was detected you can get it here and uh, based on the devices as well so now here uh, if once you log in into your production you will get the very much colorful report or uh, so too much data will be there because i have just two three devices and rolled into my defender now here is a zero attempt to access the malicious url so there it's zero but might be you will be having some uh, actionable item in your production so uh let's go back to the report part and uh, all these are like a general things so query resources uh, so this is related data like resources uses the overtime zero instant of the excuses resource users so i don't think so much use we have for this let's move it to the endpoint reports which is like a more important uh, threat uh, protection device health and the other parts will be going to review it so related to the three uh, trends what are the three uh, detected in our infra by the four antivirus and the one is the custom detection so here is a detection type by the edr antivirus smart screen 
custom IT, MDO, automated uh, AI, that is automated investigation, Microsoft Defender Expert. So these are the different type of the detection based on that uh, um, like a virus detection is happening. So these are alerts for the threats. These are the alerts status. So these uh, here are the 22 was detected by the antivirus and it was remediated because it's showing as a green. Six was uh, uh, under the custom detection and uh, two for AI uh, automated investigation. And if I go here, three category by the alerts creation date. So based on the date, it categorized on which date when the detection was happened. So you can get it data based on your requirement and uh, you can utilize it. So uh, this is the one of the useful report. Let me go back to the no device health report let's review what we'll get under the device health so this dashboard will walk through about your the device health like a sensor so sensor is active in one machine but sensor is inactive on the seven machines so earlier there was a lot of machines was in my the defender so that's why it's showing the one and the seven now here is a by the operating system so windows 11 having the one Windows 10 was the 5 and 2 was others. So uh, this is based on your the operating system device health. And now with the Windows version, what are the version we are using? So we have the uh, 2004 and with the other version. So it depend on your the requirement, how you want to look your report. So this is overall about your the health status. Now here is a defender antivirus health. This is for the sensor and OS. This is for the antivirus health. Now the one device don't have the antivirus active. So if we don't, if we don't have the antivirus activated, it will give you the dead report. So if you are looking something, how many devices are not having the antivirus active mode? It's in a passive mode. So you can go on this report and find out like a uh, one device don't have the antivirus and now here is the antivirus engine so this is the one uh, um, one one with this version and uh, the other on this version so this is based on your the antivirus engine version and this is for the intelligence version the security intelligence version so here is all about your microsoft defender health report uh here you can get the zero devices are out of date here is a zero devices um uh, like a out of date with the platform update the security intelligence so this moreover will help you to find out how many devices are under active or virus definition updated your the engine antivirus engine and other security intelligence engine this is very helpful report now let's go to the vulnerable device where are the device as vulnerable that you will get a report here like the trains and the status so this is like a trending and uh, here one devices with the uh, high risk device the vulnerability security level and one is with the your the medium level so you can get the uh, the device vulnerability status dashboard here now there are the many things uh, let me see if we have the any uh, other related to the firewalls we can go and this is very important to look out this oh, actually i don't have anything to show you here uh, because i am in the lab and i'm not getting any blockage in my lab so might be for the testing i allowed the everything that's why the no no data over here but still you can see in the firewall blocks inbound this is the related to inbound outbound and the apps so this will give you the report with the process with the ports on the ports blocked and the connection was blocked even if you need uh, a kql query you can click here and it will route to that kql piece so you can see uh, the query also if you want to run it the separately if you don't want to see here or if you can use it in the some of the automation as well it will show you the query which is used to detect uh this firewall rule so now it's trying to loading uh we can't wait let's move it back so now as i showed you here you can get all related to your inbound firewall blocks and here is the advanced hunting option as well if you want to look out the kql query and here is the outbound rule as well uh, it will give you the similar report and based on the apps also 
let me go back and see if we i have the any other thing this is related to the asr rule uh, let's go and uh, i didn't want all these uh, reports uh, you can uh, walk through yourself if you have any doubt you can just let me know so here is a detection it will give you the detection report uh, what are the detection happen and when it was happen so audited zero blocked five audited zero blocked one it will give you the uh, report these are the uh, audited part and this is for the detection so total audited zero and the block detection was 63 and this is the time range where we decided from this 24 to 24 fab to uh, 27 march if you need to use the filters yes, you can do it so this is the rule date selection the device group also you can do or uh, based on you can just select it here it should be selected and uh, then you can put it the filter as well now you can go with this the device group the select the device group or of the any block the investigation through the wmi block the credential using this so you can use the more filter as well now here is a uh this files these are the um files which were blocked by your the asr rule so if you want to pull that report you can utilize if it is needed and uh, we should have here somewhere search here yeah, you can do the search as well from here now the other reports are related to your email and the collaboration so i will be explaining you uh, microsoft uh, uh, defender for office 365 or the microsoft defender for office and for the cloud app and for uh, microsoft for the email exchange also available so there are seven to eight defenders are available after this tutorial i will be moving to the another defender part so defender for email defender for cloud uh so i will be explaining the one by one for the defender so guys hope so uh you're clear with that or uh, reporting in the defender how you can do that and in my the coming videos i will show you how you can schedule or how you can create a rules how you can set up a rules for to getting the data over the email so that will be in my the coming video i will be creating it soon so see you guys happy weekend for you take care